I have One Piece Nation here today with my review of One Piece Chapter 847. This is, this is, in my opinion, this is the most hyped chapter we have gotten all year. No, wait. There was 818. But this is going to be in the top five chapters. This chapter was amazing. I loved it. This displays the part of Luffy I love the most. That defiant, I don't give a crap personality. This chapter was amazing. Okay, no. Stop fanboy. Got to Breathe in my fanboy. Breathe out my fanboy. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so. In this chapter one, we get to see the big monster. Uh, ma, ma, manch, not manch, manchidori, manchidori with, I, I want to say chidori when I say that, but manchidori, mandori, mandori, mandori. Can uh, it's, it's most likely the name of the book book, you know, me and you, or the book book for fruit user from last week, and he like puts animals. In the thing, like, if you had, like, a live unicorn in a book, like, pinned to it, and it's, like, really cool. It's, like, a really great, uh, the greatest way to keep prisoners ever. Now, I'm not sure if it will be relevant later on, or we were just setting up the ability that would be trapping Luffy and no. Whoa. Screw it, I don't have time to edit that out. I'm not, I'm just going straight up, no editing. But I'm not sure if... That ability was introduced for some other reason, or it was just to introduce, and it, although the first couple of pages it would have meant to be like, oh, we can put living creatures inside the book. That is why Luffy and Big Mom, Luffy and Nami, are trapped inside the book. The template implied that they're trapped inside the book. Maybe I'm stupid, that's the impression I got. I can't I even have time to go back and reread the chapter. But if they weren't, then uh, that technique will most certainly be relevant later on. Okay. Luffy and Big Mom. That entire conversation. Okay, so where should I begin with the greatness that is Luffy versus Big Mom? Or Luffy and Big Mom conversation. It's all about a couple of things. Uh, Big Mom just tells Lucy outright that she'll, if he gets up on Sanji, she'll let them go. Lucy has to give up on Sanji. <laughs> she outright says it, that she doesn't care. And she's like, sure, uh, I don't care. This marriage is more important to me. So, Lucy, of course, said no. The topic then moves on to, uh, Fifth Man Island. Where he claims he'll pick a fight with her again. But, the topic moves on to Fifth Man Island, and she's like, oh, I forgive you for that, too. You can legitimately leave. I, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you for that because I like the Tama box. The box that they sent, one of the boxes, the National Treasure of Smith Man Island, she likes it. She thinks it's like, for, to quote her, man, it's so freaking awesome. She thinks it's awesome. So, okay, Big Mom gonna forgive Luffy, I guess. I would assume, I guess. That's the impression I got. I don't know. So she, were, so she forgave him for that. And then Luffy revealed that he had even dumber than we all thought. Where I'm gonna go over, I'm skimming over the conversation, but I'm just gonna quickly tell you all the stupid shit Luffy said in this chapter. He said he would kick her ass. He, he, he challenged Big Mom to a fight. He said, come here right now and I'll fight you right here now. So Luffy got ball of steel. Apparently, like, he knows she's a Yoko. He doesn't care. I, it, it's one of those things, like, I shouldn't be surprised. I didn't even said Luffy would openly fight Kaido right now. Like, he doesn't care if you're a Yoko. But just seeing it on paper just makes you feel like, man, dude, you've got balls. <laughs> no, but, so Luffy challenged Big Mom. They go back and forth. And then Big Mom starts talking to Nami. And this is where things get interesting. She said, I hear you killed Lola. And then Nami goes on to say that no, she didn't. We get a flat, we, her and Lola are sisters in every way but blood. 
they consider each other sisters, and she was told to get Big Mom this message. I'm doing well, Mama. Or I'm doing well. Big Mom goes to that will quit bullshitting me. I don't give a damn. I wish she was dead. So, apparently, Big Mom and Lola aren't on good terms. Some of, good, some of Lola's either are trying to get a stage or as this theory is debunked. Gone. Like, that theory would... Otis didn't just debunk it. He took it, and he beat it into the ground with a sledgehammer, and, and lit it on fire. He literally did that to a freaking theory. Like, Big Mom was like... Big Mom was like, could you... I'll have to torture the information of where she is now out of you, so I can send an assassin after her to eliminate her. That woman pisses me off so much. So apparently... Lola was supposed to marry somebody. Whatever man this woman, Lola, was supposed to marry is like a really big deal. Because according to Big Mom, if Lola had gone through with this marriage, she would have been able to crush Jay, Kaido, and even Whitebeard. All three of them. And she would be Pirate King. So I don't know. I, I'm trying to think. Me, huh? What, 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 me on? I mean, I'm guessing. <laughs> like, he would never do it, and this situation would never happen. I am trying to guess them. Guess. Who could Lola possibly have been supposed to marry that could allow her to take down Whitebeard, Shang, Kaido, and me, Pirate? Me on getting a rail? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. What the, I, I, and normally I grant that I'm something not making sense, but it only doesn't make sense because we don't know enough yet. And I'm going to wait for that information to be revealed to us later in the arc. But that does hurt the chapter a little bit. If you want me to be critical, is that hurting the teeny bit? Not really. Still, really, still 10 out of 10 chapter. Okay, what else? Oda. Luffy in this chapter. So Luffy pretty much said, Dude, why don't I pick a fight with you again? So he's like, I'll kick your ass. Two, so Lucy tells Big Mom, Lola's the one did it that didn't want to marry you. And you're the one that that's not and you're the one that's not Pirate King yet. And by the way, I challenge you to another fight and I'm the one that's going to win. I'm sorry, Luffy, you're a more you're a complete moron. So eventually Big Mom kinda just like will screw you both. Like we don't get anywhere we're going for their escape. We kinda just leave. He screws off, and it'll be cut to Brook. Brook has snuck in the whole cake island, the pat, the chate, chateau, that that chate. I don't know. It's French. I don't speak French. I'm sorry. Once it's presented in the anime, maybe I'll get it. But I always forget how Roger based and everybody else said it. The chateau, whole cake chateau. That is it. Chateau. Thank you. No, but, so, Brooke is snuck into the whole case chateau, and he ain't prepared to put on a con- to put on a concert for the guy. That was all really good. Oh, yeah, what's up with Chopper? From the very beginning, Chopper, um, from the very beginning of the chapter, Chopper and Coward are about to get even a lot. I stayed there for the end because all I had to say on it, it was weird. I'm just trying to, they're trying to boil Karen alive. I don't know what she's gonna do about that. She's literally like tied to a chain off the ceiling and then lowered into a pot. Uh, they, they don't appear to have been saddened up at all. So it's not like a Hansel and Gretel thing. I don't know what this is. Chopper talking about using monster points. So that would be cool. Okay, I'm a carrot fan. I'm like, I know right. I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, Luffy was talking to Big Mom. I'm sorry if the Chopper stuff was overshadowed by the stuff with Big Mom. But, um, yeah. I was very surprised because going into this week's chapter of One Piece, I really expected something more like Big Mom would, uh, like, freedom. I expected it to be like a little, Nami would give, honestly, I never outright said it. I was never sure. I was never confident in it. And I don't want to just pull crap out of my ass when I'm not sure of it. But I was somewhat a believer that Big Mom was going to help them if they, if 
Nami, killed her Lola Vila card and could somehow prove they were sisters and, and, and all the blood. But no, uh, that didn't happen. I was really surprised. I was mind blown. Mind blown. Great chapter. 10 out of 10. Um, I know this review would more be talking about things that happened, speculating, and was less critical than normal. I don't have a lot of time. I'm sorry. Normally I have more time to just digest the chapter. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a live stream tonight. Most likely. Either tonight or tomorrow. I'll do a video or a stream or something about this chapter. It'll be a follow-up video because I don't feel like I covered everything and I don't think I've said everything I want to say in this review. But I need to go. I can't keep this up any longer. If you are, if you live in America, have a great Thanksgiving. If you're, if you don't live in America, have a great day. Like the video if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. Check out my Facebook and my Twitter. And subscribe for more videos. The One Piece Nation. Dining out. Have a great day, guys.